All right, here we are at one of my portable generators. Of course, this generator has a, a uh, hitch that you can hook to an ATV or whatever you would like to pull behind, and you can take it camping uh, or what have you. <clears throat> you can also pull this up beside your house and, of course, use it as a generator for uh, backup power if you wanted power outages, or you could use it on an on and off continuous basis. Uh, and I'll get more into that as we go. Of course, it has jumper cables here. Uh, they could connect back here to a battery, which the battery is a <coughs> power cell that actually gets charged when this generator is running by this alternator. This alternator is connected to this generator, and as the generator runs, of course, it gives you high loads. Now, you use the generator, say, in a, uh, let's use a power outage, uh, for example. Power's out, uh, storm, whatever, in Florida. <clears throat> you need power for your air conditioner uh, system in the house, or you want to wash clothes, or you want to maybe use your range, or whatever you may want to use. You turn on this generator. It can go in through a transfer switch in the house uh, into your utility panel and give you power, or you can run it through an extension cord. <clears throat> But the example here is you use this generator and you use this, you consume its high loads, whatever you want to use it for. And let's say you ran this generator for an hour. Now, you are spinning the alternator, this, this driven on a belt drive, on the same engine that's driving the generator that's underneath this, uh, that's in this generator system. Now, uh, this alternator is banking power back into this battery. Uh, power cell back here. Now, uh, this battery is fully charged and it's, it stays that way. There is a solar panel on the front of the system, and I want to demonstrate that as well. Now the solar panel, of course, will collect energy from the sun. If this is sitting outside uh, facing the sun, you would collect energy stored back into the uh, power cell battery in the back. Now, <clears throat> as I said, uh, now let's say we ran the generator for an hour, and now we have cut the generator off. All right, now I have a inverter inside this toolbox that's on this generator. In this toolbox, we're going to open it up, and I'm going to demonstrate <coughs> the power here. The inverter is inside the toolbox. Turn on the inverter. All right, the inverter is on. Now I'm going to take and plug in this skill saw, just as I had done on the toolbox. But I'm going to plug it in, not the generator. I'm going to plug it into the inverter that's inside this box that's uh, connected to that battery that you just seen on the back of the toolbox, of the generator. Excuse me. <coughs> All right, now. Then again, the skill saw that I'm using has a laser light, uh, which it's just uh, you can see the power is going to it. I'm running the skill saw. Uh, all right. <clears throat> now, this skill saw is being run by <clears throat> the power cell or battery. It's back here, as you can see through the inverter, through this uh, GFI safety plug. Now I'm going to turn this back off. Now, <clears throat> this could also run a television, uh, VCR. Uh, you can do a combination of a television, uh, satellite system, VCR, stereo, uh, you know, all the elements all the way up to 1,500 watts on this particular inverter. Now, of course, you can have a larger inverter if you want for more battery power to run more devices. Uh, but <clears throat> I call it low loads, uh, and it will give you hours of power. Out of this one battery, you can get roughly three to five hours, depending on the load you put on the inverter. <clears throat> this particular inverter will run 20 hours straight uh, without getting too hot. Uh, after that, you need to turn it off, let it cool for about 40 minutes, and then you could do another 20 hours. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so <clears throat> now, the system has certain utilities has a light on the front, which is right here. Now, this is battery powered, of course. Uh, I can turn it on here. The light is on. light is off. All right, that's all battery powered. Uh, of course, the jumper cables you can use uh, to <coughs> jump off any vehicle or anything you might need if you're uh, using it as camping or so on and so forth. Okay, <coughs> that gives you the basic idea of how the system works. Uh, and it will work also with a very large system and I'm going to demonstrate that right now, connected to your house. Now, this is a portable system. It can be used <coughs> for your house or recreational, uh, what have you. The system has an air compressor, air compressor on it. Of course, that would uh, charge, uh, or you could air up tires, so on and so forth. 
uh, balloon, uh, balloon, uh, pretty much anything, balloons, rafts, you name it, you can do it. Uh, all right, so <clears throat> I apologize for my voice a little bit out today, but I wanted to get this on the internet. I have a lot of people uh, asking questions uh, about the system that I presented uh, here recently. And these are all new systems and they are patent. This is a patent generator. This is a prototype generator. And of course, we custom make the generators uh, to your standards uh, or qualifications, whatever it is that you want, we can put on uh, the uh, generator. Also, the toolboxes, we can do the same. Uh, we custom make them and we'll make them to your satisfaction. Whatever you may want in these systems, we can do for you. Okay, and I'm gonna go demonstrate now how a large uh, system like a, a Guardian system or a Coleman or any other standby generator system you have that may be automatic. And now we'll go in and talk about that a little bit more. All right, I do want to demonstrate also. <clears throat> of course, uh, I have patents, as you know, I have two patents. And this is the second patent. And I've showed you some systems that, with electric motor, so on and so forth. And if you read the patents, which I'll send you full copies of, but there's, uh, there's different versions. This is the electric motor version, of course. And then you're going to have your uh, steam engine version, which I don't have a prototype, but this is a steam engine. And it works the same way, but using steam to run a, um, a, a you know, steam engine that would run a turbine that would uh, rotate the drive shafts to, to give you the power of alternator generator. Uh, also, this is the gas engine version. Now, this is like the Guardian unit or whatever standby generator system. You have a gas engine and you have a uh, alternator, I mean a generator, excuse me. Uh, those are normally the two combinations that you have for standby systems. Uh, but my system combines the gas engine, uh, the uh, generator, and the alternator. The generator gives the high loads, the alternator banks power into batteries or directly to an inverter, and the inverter then again gives you the low loads uh, that can be uh, stored or used simultaneously at the same time. You add solar panels to that, and that's the system I've been showing you. And of course the system gets uh, a little more uh, complicated, and it gets water solar panels and so on and so forth. And, and as you read the patent, you'll see uh, it, it adds different systems, much smaller systems along with bigger systems to give you combinations of ways this thing can be used <clears throat> throughout uh, brand new construction uh, and so on and so forth. You'll have to read the patents and see, but I just want to point out there are different things. There are a portable system as well, and I'm going to have a video of the portable. Uh, I'll be one of the uh, prototypes I have. But anyway, I'm looking forward to you reviewing the patents and I hope that you find them interesting and uh, hopefully maybe you would be interested in uh, producing some of these products and I certainly would appreciate it. Thank you.